Hello, I'm Philip Mann, the Technical Director at Kapler. And today we're going to talk about the history behind the EPA levels of protection. You know, in the late 1800s, there was a man named William Love that wanted to build a canal around Niagara Falls. And he worked on this canal for several years, but then because of financial reasons, it was abandoned. And then in the 1920s, the city of Niagara decided to use the old canal as a landfill. And they also allowed Hooker Chemical Company to use it to place their hazardous chemical waste. And then a few years after that, Hooker took over the site and used it for several more years as a waste depository. And then in the 1940s, Hooker Chemical sold the land to the city of Niagara for a dollar. And they developed neighborhoods and then eventually built a school on the site. What little people knew was that this site was terribly contaminated with many hazardous compounds. And through the 50s and into the 60s, many incidents of birth defects and miscarriages and other illnesses occurred in the area around Love Canal. But it was not until the late 70s that a couple of investigative reporters from a local TV station began to make this issue more public. And our government, who saw what was going on there, said in their wisdom, oh, I wonder if there are any other sites like this around the country. And sure enough, there were. Our Congress created the Superfund Act, which was designed to provide funding for the cleanup of these various waste dumps around the country. And originally, there were about 50 sites that were identified. Ultimately, there were many more than that. And the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, realized that when they went in to clean up these sites, they had to provide guidance to the workers on the type of chemical protective garments they should be wearing. And this eventually resulted in the EPA levels of protection that we use today as the basis for the design of chemical protective garments. So I can typically tell how old someone is if they can answer the question of where is Love Canal. There are many other examples like Love Canal that caused our country to take notice and to realize that we had to clean up our environment. I'm Philip Mann, the Technical Director at Kapler, and today we've discussed the history behind the EPA levels of protection.